After our 10 game unbeaten run, there seemed to be no negatives for Watford whatsoever. But two terrible defeats away to Arsenal and Liverpool, both part of the chasing pack playing catch up to us, it saw us virtually exit the title race and leave us clinging to fourth spot in the Premier League table. And as for myself, most of the blame fell on my shoulders after an embarrassing 4.9 in the rating for the game at Anfield as I missed two golden chances, both one on one, where we were only trailing by a goal. All the fingers were pointing at me after the game, and they weren't just the index fingers. How if we can't feel sorry for ourselves, back to back losses hurt. What will hurt even more is total capitulation. The first game today is against struggling Bournemouth, as Eddie Howe's side come and take us on. And am I glad to be home as well? With both our losses coming away, Vicarage Road will have to be a fortress if we are to stay in the top four, and our fans will play a huge part in that as well. It's Bournemouth, it's the first game, and with just so few games to go, and so few points separating so many teams in the Premier League table, every game will feel like a cup final. Every game is one we cannot afford to lose. Cook for Bournemouth finds Callum Wilson. It's a nice free ball to Lewis Cook as well. Now Josh King receives it with Priddler's there. Ducori gives it to me. And I'll pop it out wide to Bellarabi. Slow start to the game. 0-0 20 minutes in. Can we get the first chance on the back of two straight defeats? We really need some goals here. Ducore with a long ball towards Bellarabi who does win it. And Begovic makes the save there. Not exactly a play drawn up on a training ground. But Bellarabi close to opening the scoring. But the former Chelsea goalkeeper makes the save. Still 0-0. On the back of those back-to-back -back defeats, anything other than a win is unacceptable. The majority of the blame is going to fall on my shoulders if we don't make the top four. A really, really poor couple of games against Arsenal and Liverpool. And in this game at home to struggling Bournemouth, I've not done anywhere close to enough. But maybe a chance here to get around Nathan Ake. And I'll roll it inside. Oh, shot blocked by Kieran Trippier in turn behind for a corner. Still nil-nil. The fire is in the belly. I've just got my four-star skill moves as well. Gotta love that. As Ducore heads it in. And I love that even more. Watford 1, Bournemouth 0. And it's Ducore who gets the goal. Heads it in and gives us the lead. Not a goal or an assist, but I could not care less. Watford 1, Bournemouth 0. And we take the lead. Gets in. We so badly needed this. Ducore beats Ake in the air. And Begovic gets nowhere near it. 1-0 to the Hornets with Ducore second of the year. And with a few games to go in the season, we know if we win all of our games, we stay in the top four. But that is easier said than done after a couple of really damaging defeats. But if we win this game, we'll give ourselves a really good chance to pick our momentum up. Come on, lads. Once again, I've had another poor performance, but thankfully my teammates are bailing me out. Ducore into my feet, and I'll give it to Pereira. Into Andre Gray. Bellarabi gets inside. Bellarabi to me. Quick first time ball, and it's got a little bit behind Carrillo. He crosses anyway. Ake clears. It will drop to me. Pereira, have a go. Have a go. Have a go. Have a go. Oh, it's deflected it in. And it's always taken me down there. Get off me. Get off me, Harry Arter. Watford 2, Bournemouth 0. And I'm going to get the assist for the goal, but it took a huge deflection. And Pereira off the bench doubles the score and surely with 22 minutes to go we are going to return to winning ways the ball to Carrillo wasn't the best there but that was a better pass to spot Pereira in space and it deflects off the leg and through the legs of Cook I think it was and it wrong foots Asmir Begovic and goes into the back of the net a huge element of luck for the goal no one's going to deny that but it's a massive one and we lead by two Yama sends me down the right hand side. No, no, keep on running. Go on the overlap. There we go. Daryl on the ball now cuts inside and finds his man Pereira into my feet. And I'll roll it inside to my man Ducore. He finds Creo. Lovely passing. Lovely goal. Lovely win. Watford 2. Bournemouth. Sorry, Watford 3. Bournemouth nil. Only the one assist in the three goals, but getting involved in that third one. And that was a really, really nice team move. 3 0 to the Hornets. We can stay in the top four and remain there for the rest of the season. We probably have no chance of the title now. When we're playing like this, we are good enough to stay in these Champions League spots. A really good win, a great way to respond. 3 0 to final score. Forget about the Arsenal and Liverpool games. They were bad performances, 
not just from me, but from the team as a whole, really. But this was more like it. And you can see what it means as well. Unity. We're still a team that believe in one another. We believe in the manager. And we believe we can stay in the top four. That was a great win. Marco Silva bought out the hairdryer at halftime. And it helped blow away the cobwebs. A much better second half performance saw us score three goals. I was delighted to bag an assist and get involved in the build up for the third of the goals as well. And it will simply put a much better performance from me and a much better display from the team. The win keeps us in the top four, but with just six games to go, there are so many teams clambering for a Champions League place. And as we're only two points in those Champions League spots, I'll say it once again, every single game is one we cannot afford to lose. And for our second game, we welcome Sean Dyche's Burnley, currently sat in mid-table, glad to still be here at home at Vicarage Road, as we aim to get another win in front of our fans. And once again, we know exactly what's at stake. With so many teams breathing down our necks, not slipping up, we can't afford to do so either. We've got back to winning ways after two straight defeats, but we now need back-to-back -back wins heading into the game away at Huddersfield Town. It's Burnley, it's the second game, and we need the same performance and the same result. Right then, Watford, Getting what are we well, made of? Back-to-back -to -back losses. Can we respond with back-to-back -back wins? As in. that cross goes into the centre, and it's not an ideal start. Jeff Hendrick gives Burnley the lead, and pretty much right from kickoff, Sean Dyche's side have gone in front. Storm down the right, cross the middle, Hendrick with a finish. And it's 1-0 already. The fans look, well, uh, some of them look shell-shocked, and I'm not surprised. Right from kickoff, they storm down the right, a quick cross to the centre, and it's 1-0. What are we made of now? Eddie Howe's side did not take a single shot in the last game, and we won it comfortably. Already in this game, we've conceded one shot on target, and we've conceded one goal from that as well. Trailing by one, 16 minutes in. Oh, come on, lads. We have to win this game. A draw's not good enough. We need to win this one. Sam Vogt, poor pass. Zegelar's there. And I'll do Corey to success into my feet. I'll feed Andre Gray. Gray out wide towards Bellarabi. Get your skates on, son. You've got more pace than Robbie Brady. Cuts inside and gives it to me. I'll poke it back to Ducore, to Shaloba. Into my feet. Now I towards Dariyama. Good passing here. Can we find an opening? Bellarabi on the ball. Oh, lovely turn. Lovely turn. And that's not a bad cross either. And success is header. He's easily caught by Tom Heaton. Great work from Bellarabi down the right-hand side there. Head of that conviction. But come on, Watford. There's going to be chances in this game for us to get back on level terms. We've got to take them. Success to Gray. Gray holds it up and gives it through to Shaloba. To my feet. Can I get around a couple of players? I can. This is how they love to play on the break. And I can finish as well. Watford won. Burnley won. I know, I know, I know. It was my fault, everyone. It was my fault we lost to Liverpool. But I'm still loved by the fans here due to a brilliant rookie season. And if we can close out the season strong, remain undefeated at home, and win our remaining games, we'll stay in the top four and head into the Champions League. A quick heel to heel flick. Round two players. And I missed a couple of golden one-on-ones against Liverpool. I was sat up late at night watching the highlights of that game, knowing it was my fault. I wasn't going to miss that one. Watford won, Burnley won. Come on, lads. We've got that goal. We're back on level terms. We've done what we needed to do in this first half. That was get back all square. And now let's turn again on its head. Let's not let Burnley score from the same sort of build-up as before. What a save, Carnesis. What a save by our number 30, who's been in fine form all season long. The same combination, the same move, the same players involved, but this time a different result. Jeff Hendrick denied by a brilliant stop by our Greek shot stopper. Free kick for Burnley, and it was given away by me. I'm going to come off the wall and go on the line for this one, just in case I try and pop it into the top corner. And it's taken by Brady. Oh, and there we go. Headed off the line, worked perfectly. And that's my first ever memorable moment as well. Headed off the line from Brady's free kick. Prevents Burnley going back in front. Still 1-1. But I can't celebrate it too much. We still need to find a winning goal. One final chance, Watford with a free kick. Bellarabi's going to take it. We're in stoppage time. Is he going for goal? He is! And Heaton claimed it well. And that should be the game. Final score at Vicarage Road. Watford won. Burnley won. My goal got us back on level terms. It was great to make amends after the poor performance against Liverpool. 
I prevented a goal as well, a goal line clearance, my first memorable moment, but sadly it comes in vain. No win, not enough. It was great to hit my first memorable moment in this game, and great to bag a goal as our equaliser as well. But it wasn't great to get a draw. A 1-1 result at home to mid-table Burnley was simply put not good enough. And after the game, as we look at the table, you can see we're now only in the top four despite rising to third by a point. It is so tight right now in the race for the top four. We know any chance of getting back in the title race is completely gone. We are not going to play a part and we have no chance of lifting the crown come the end of the season. We've collapsed, simply put, in our pursuit of the Premier League title. But we're still hanging on in there for a top four place. We may be hanging by a thread. We're still in the Champions League places. And once again, every single game feels like a cup final. We travel away from home for our third and final game as we take on Huddersfield Town, who they themselves are clinging to a Premier League place currently in the relegation zone. We're hoping for a top four finish. But if we're to get it, we need to pick up points away from home as well at Vicarage Road as well. We lost our last two on the road against Arsenal at Liverpool. We can't lose again. We must win. We must stay in the top four. It is so tight right now. It's there. unbelievable. Team and we've and still got an FA Cup here. semi-final to come in seven days as well. This could be a disastrous end to the season or a magical one. And I'm really hopeful it's going to be the latter. We've had such a memorable first year. And I would absolutely love it if we can close it out strong. Reach an FA Cup final and, and stay in the top four as well. But this game, there is so much riding on it. What our first away game on the back of our last two, which were losses. Can we respond and get a win here? Can we get the job done? Or are we going to falter once again on the road? Ince has a man on the overlap, but he didn't see him. It's better Arby closes out and wins it. And I'll do Corey. Oh. I was free there. I was totally free. And the left back was out of position too. But it's okay. It's all right. We've got the ball. That's the most important thing. Do core into my feet. Quick turn. I'm away from one. Now away from two. And I've released Bellarabi. Great chance. Great chance. Bellarabi oh, off the post. Tight angle. Should have gone across the goalkeeper whistle there. Try to squeeze it in. Off the woodwork. Still nil-nil. Great work from yours truly. But Bellarabi just couldn't finish. Mounier through the gap. It's one-on-one. One-nil. And the Terriers go in front. And how many times do I say this on my channel? The catchphrase that will never go away. If you don't take your chances, you will get punished. And Huddersfield Town have proved that. Kachunga got away from me. Found Steve Mooney. It's a brilliant through ball to split Yamat and Cabaselle. And a really good strike by Inti into the back of the net. 1-0. And we cannot afford to lose this game. I am down to a 4.3 after this first start. I think it's a bit harsh, to be fair. But I need to do something to get my rating back up. Gray on the ball. Gives it to me. Oh, surely. Carrillo. Finish that. No. Take a touch, mate. Take a touch. You had so much time there as Lissell made the save. Another good through ball. Two key passes in this first half. But unfortunately, the finishing not the best as Cavaselli's header is easily caught by Lissell. Second half to come. Plenty of time. We've got to take our chances. Come on, lads. We need a goal. Get the ball forward. Get the ball forward. Give me the ball here. Thank you. Right, come on. Come on. Through ball to Cabaselli. Cabaselli. Oh, no. Oh, I hate to play the blame game. My teammates have really let me down today. My passing's been good. I could have had two assists in the first half, but they just have not finished the chances in the second half. We haven't gone forward. We haven't been attacking at all. Casey Palmer shot the flex off his man and it's the post. 12 minutes to go. And it's looking likely we're going to lose. And that is going to do it. Huddersfield Town get a huge win in their bid for survival. But Watford have now lost three straight away from home. And only picked up one win in our last five. The end of the season collapse continues. And a top four place now surely is not going to happen. I didn't think I played that badly in this game, to be honest. I had a couple of key passes in the first half, one of which didn't get registered, but Bellarabi hit the post with one one-on-one, -on -one, and then Carrillo shot went straight at Lussel for the other. I didn't think I played badly at all, really. I didn't think we played terribly in the first half, but in the second half did nothing. And now we've lost that game, three straight losses away from Vicarage Road. That will surely do it. That will surely mean now we are out of the top four. And as we head into the FA Cup semi-final against Spurs as well, well, based on our recent run of form, you have to wonder now whether we can stay in the top four. 
and make it to the FA Cup final. Both are looking unlikely, and with just a few games to go, there it is, confirmation right there. We have dropped out of the top four for the first time since we entered it, right at the start of the season. We're behind Manchester City, and they've got a game in hand as well. It's looking quite likely that after a brilliant season, it's going to end in tears. But that will end today's episode of My Player, guys. So a big thank you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you did enjoy today's episode, then please do drop a like. Much love, and I'll see you for the next episode of My Player very soon.